Lakes, rivers, and streams in North Central Texas are perhaps our most treasured natural resources. The many lakes in the area are tremendously popular for fishing, swimming, and boating. While rivers and streams offer a quiet retreat from the sometimes hectic pace of our daily activities. These surface waters are also the source of drinking water for most of the residents in the region. And all of these activities depend on clean water for our continued use and enjoyment. This video will look at ways that we, as city, county, and state employees, can help to maintain and improve water quality. When we imagine sources of water pollution, we tend to think of toxic discharges from factories or from wastewater treatment plants. However, many of our water quality problems result from pollution in stormwater runoff. When it rains, stormwater runoff picks up sediment, oil and grease, chemicals, and other potential pollutants as it flows over various surfaces such as lawns, streets, and parking lots on its way to the storm drain. And whatever enters the storm drain system ends up being discharged directly into streams or lakes, since storm water does not go to a water treatment plant. Many operations and maintenance activities performed by cities, counties, and state agencies have the potential to pollute surface water. Some of these activities and the associated pollutants include grounds and landscape maintenance, fleet maintenance, vehicle washing, materials storage, street system operations and maintenance, construction or other land disturbances, and solid waste operations. Wastes from these and other activities can have a serious impact on water quality. One quart of oil flowing into a storm drain can contaminate 250,000 gallons of water. Fertilizer that washes off landscaped areas can cause excess algae growth in streams and reservoirs. This excess algae can lower dissolved oxygen and cause fish kills. Sediment carried off of disturbed construction areas can harm fish, aquatic insects, and plants. Overall, storm water pollution has been determined to be a major source of water quality problems in the state. Government entities have a special responsibility in the effort to reduce pollution in storm water runoff. In order to set a good example for citizens, businesses, and industries in regard to storm water pollution prevention, we must conduct our operations in an environmentally friendly manner. For this reason, as city, county, and state employees, we all need to do what we can to help keep pollutants out of the storm drain system. Keeping our water clean is not only the right thing to do, it's required by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality as a condition of our permit to discharge storm water from collection systems into state waters. The permit requires us to take steps to prevent pollution of storm water that could result from our daily operations. These steps include preparing procedures for how we conduct activities that have the potential to cause pollution and training employees in stormwater pollution prevention. Violations of our permit could result in enforcement actions and fines by the EPA and TCEQ. Based 
best management practices, or BMPs, are the procedures and techniques we use for preventing or reducing stormwater pollution. The pollution prevention BMPs discussed in this video are also sometimes called good housekeeping practices. Basically, these BMPs are simple, common sense things we can do during our operation and maintenance activities to keep from being a part of the problem when it comes to water quality. Here are some good housekeeping BMPs that apply to city, county, and state operations. Dispose of waste properly and never dispose of any waste or debris in a storm drain. Even materials that seem harmless are prohibited from being disposed of in the storm drain system. Keep outside work areas clean by sweeping regularly. This helps prevent accumulated dirt and trash from being washed into storm drains by runoff. Do not hose down work areas because this washes pollutants into the storm drain system and into area creeks and lakes. Fix vehicle and equipment leaks as soon as possible after they are discovered. Place a drip pan under the leak until the repair can be completed to prevent oil, grease, fluids, fuel, or antifreeze from entering the storm drain system. Clean up spills immediately to minimize safety hazards and prevent spreading. Use absorbent materials rather than hosing down the area and dispose of used absorbent material properly. Keep materials such as grease, paints, detergents, pesticides, fertilizers, and herbicides in appropriate labeled containers. Store the containers indoors or in covered areas where they will not come in contact with storm water and always have containers sealed when not currently in use. Read and follow label directions when applying pesticides, fertilizers, or herbicides, and use caution to avoid stray product from being deposited on streets or other paved surfaces where it could be washed into the storm drain system. And don't apply during windy or wet weather. Keep lids on trash and recycling bins to keep the trash in and the rain out. Don't top off fuel tanks when fueling vehicles to prevent overfilling and spills. Wash vehicles and equipment in designated areas where the wash water drains to the sanitary sewer or is collected to be recycled. And finally, promptly report suspected problems so that corrective action can be taken as soon as possible. As you can see, these BMPs make sense. In many cases, they make the workplace safer and may save money in addition to their benefits for the environment. Depending on your job, your supervisor or environmental department personnel may provide additional training on pollution prevention and good housekeeping practices. Effective stormwater pollution prevention requires that all employees follow established procedures. Let's make sure that as government employees, we take an active role in preventing stormwater pollution. In this way, we'll be doing our part to maintain the water quality of our lakes, streams, and rivers. Mm -hmm.